Hello, my dear friends. I invite you today to delve into a profound and thought-provoking message question that resonates through the ages. Who will remember me when I am gone? In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 5, it says, For the living know that they will die, but the dead know nothing. They have no further reward, and even their name is forgotten. These words remind us of the fleeting nature of our lives, the brevity of our time on this earth. We are confronted with the thought that once we pass from this world, our stories, our experiences, and our voices are silenced. And make no mistake, for dust you are, and to dust you shall return. But in the midst of this sobering truth, we find a deeper message, a call to live a life that leaves an indelible impact. Ecclesiastes 9.10 states, Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. For in the realm of the dead, where you are going, there is neither working nor planning nor knowledge nor wisdom. These words urge us to seize every opportunity, to pour our hearts and souls into our pursuits, and to make a lasting difference while we have breath in our lungs. We are called to embrace a life of purpose and significance, knowing that our time is limited. Each day is a gift, an opportunity to make a positive impact, to sow seeds of love, kindness, and compassion. Let us not squander this precious gift on trivial pursuits and self-centered desires. Instead, let us strive to be a source of light and hope in a world that so desperately needs it. Reflecting on the thought that our stories, our experiences, and our voices are silenced when leave the earth, we must also acknowledge the profound truth found in Hebrews 9.27. Just as people are destined to die once, and after that to face judgment. This verse reminds us that our earthly lives are not the end-all and be-all. There is a greater reality beyond this world, a realm where our actions, choices, and attitudes will be accounted for. In light of this truth, we are called to live with a sense of eternity in our hearts. Let us strive for righteousness, and seek to align our lives with God's purposes. Let us prioritize our relationship with Him, for it is in Him that we find true fulfillment and eternal significance. But there is hope, my friends. Though dead men may tell no tales, there is one who defied the grave and conquered death itself. In 1 Corinthians 15.55 it proclaims, Where, O death, is your victory? Where, O death, is your sting? Through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, we are offered a lifeline, an opportunity to be reconciled with our Creator, to experience His love and grace, and to have our stories woven into the grand tapestry of His redemption. In the face of the fleeting nature of our lives, the call is clear. To live with purpose, to impact the world around us, and to find our hope and identity in the One who conquered death. Let us not be complacent, but rather, let us rise above the ordinary and mundane. Let us be bold in our faith, courageous in our actions, and unwavering in our commitment to follow the path set before us. May we be inspired by the stories of those who have gone before us, men and women who embraced their purpose, who left a legacy of faith, and whose lives still speak to us today. Their tales may have been silenced, but their impact endures reminding us of the power and significance of a life lived for something greater than ourselves. So, my friends, let us not be complacent or allow ourselves to be consumed by the trivial distractions that surround us. Instead, let us embrace the call to make each day count, to live fully and authentically. In a world filled with uncertainty and turmoil, we have the opportunity to be beacons of hope, love, and truth. Let us extend a helping hand to those in need, offer words of encouragement to the discouraged, and share the transformative power of the gospel with those who have yet to experience its embrace. Remember, my friends, our time here is but a fleeting moment in the grand scheme of eternity. It is how we choose to live in this moment that will shape our legacy. May our lives be marked by compassion, integrity, and unwavering faith. Let us not be held captive by fear or doubt, but instead, let us rise above the challenges that come our way. 
embrace the fullness of life and the blessings that surround us. Seek wisdom, pursue knowledge, and let the light of Christ shine brightly through us. Let us leave a legacy that speaks of love, mercy, and grace, a legacy that points others to the boundless love of our Heavenly Father. Together, let us seize this moment, for it is within our grasp to make a lasting impact on this world and the lives we encounter. Let us live lives of purpose, impact, and unwavering devotion to the One who gives us breath and guides our every step. May God bless you as you embrace your daily challenges. It's my prayer. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing and sharing with your loved ones.